Kia ora and welcome back to Kiwi Motorhomes. Today I'm going to be taking you through a quick handover explanation of this beautiful Adria Coral XL uh, luxury motorhome. It's got the upgraded 180 horsepower motor um, which is a real feature of this motorhome. It drives beautifully. So we're going to start on the driver's side. And then we're going to work our way around the back and come back up the passenger side. First thing I'll show you is that the motorhome itself is 3.2 metres high and 7.4 metres long. So we always ask that uh, because of the length that if you are reversing, always have someone out the back guiding you. It saves a lot of heartache for you in the event of um, any damages. So moving past the driver's side, you'll see that we come to the LPG locker and the LPG locker is simply just a matter of turning the latch 45 degrees to the right and opening her up plenty of space for two 9k gas bottles there if you need it um, and all you do is simply just turn the gas bottle on to the top and away you go uh, we do ask that um, that you do uh, have the gas turned off when you travel as a safety precaution. All you do is simply push it back in, turn her up, and if you wanted to lock that, it'll be the smaller part, the smaller key I should say, of the two keys that you'll be given. This key here does all of the outside hatches. Okay, so simply just popping it in, turning it, and then just pushing the button and it'll click into place like that. And that's locked, nice and easy. The next part we'll come to is the fresh water, of course nicely labeled for you. All you do is just open her up. To refill it, push the, the, uh, the cap in and out she comes. Pop the hose in that I'll show you in a minute which is stored in the back garage and fill her up. Once you've done that, Pop that back in. You can lock it if you like with the same key that you lock and unlock the, uh, the LPG a locker. And there you go. That is the fresh water. I will suggest that that's great for dishes and shower, but certainly don't drink it. The fresh, um, the fresh drinking water, I would suggest that you buy it at the supermarket. It's nice and cheap here in New Zealand. The next locker we come to is the whiripaku or toilet. Simply just squeeze these two together to open her up and voila. Now as long as the toilet inside is closed, you'll be able to easily lift that up and slide the cassette out. Nice and simple. And in there you'll see it's all fully sanitised and nice and clean. Down here, the cassette itself, to empty it, all you do is you turn the hose, turn the, unscrew the cap, and simply just tip her out to the dump station. Once you've done that, I would suggest that you put some water back in again, give it a bit of a rinse, tip it back out into the dump station, pop the cap back on, and pop it back in to the cassette. Nice and simple. Once you've done that, there'll be a little sachet on the inside that you'll be able to drop in through the toilet on the inside just pop one tablet in there and it takes the smell away down here is your 230 or mains power connection and i will be showing you the, the power hose that connects into that what you do is you just push it in connect her up pop the other end into the dump station uh, and dump station into onto the power pole of the campground and away you go. Down here you've got the grey and wastewater. Okay, we call it the grey water or the wastewater. This is the water for the shower and the dishes. Of course, I've just shown you the toilet, so it's totally separate. And I, I will once again show you the hose that's stored in the, in the storage locker. All you do is you just pop these, this cap off. This handle here you would pull forward so it runs parallel with the pipe. Once you connect the hose uh, and pop the hose into the dump station, once you uh, open the valve here, probably takes between five and seven minutes to, to empty. Shut the valve off, take the hose off, give it a bit of a shake, and of course put 
the cap back on and secure it by popping these forward. Nice and easy. Next thing we come to is a nice big score, uh, the storage locker, what we call the uh, the garage. To open her up, pull the handle like so, and voila! And in there you'll see plenty of room for your luggage. First thing is your camp table that we supply, and of course camp chairs. There is the lovely feature of this motorhome, which is a diesel heater. Perfect. You can see right through to the other side, which I'll take you through to in a minute. Moving around, you'll see we come to the self-containment sticker. That's very, very important. This motorhome is fully self-contained, which means you're able to freedom camp uh, to your heart's content here in New Zealand. There's a nice uh, dual bike rack. And of course, the other side of the storage carriage itself. Open her up. And there you go. Nice big storage locker. You'll see that we do supply ramps, leveling ramps, that you'll be able to drive drive up to. I would I would suggest that you drive onto them, put one each one on each side of the wheel, um, and just drive up onto them to level the motorhome out if you are parked on slightly uneven ground. There are your camp chairs, of course, and here are your hoses and power cords. So this first one is the power cord that you need to connect the motorhome to 230 or mains power. This is the one that you would connect to the motorhome itself and here's the end that you connect to the power pole at the campground. And in here in this handy little plastic container is your grey water hose. So that is the the butterfly clips just like that cap I showed you where you connect to the outlet in the motorhome and that's the end of course that goes into the dump station and this blue hose is your fresh uh, water hose that you'll need to fill the, the fresh water up beautiful all right let's close that up here is your outlet vent that vents all the, the fumes out for the gas uh, diesel heater and of course your um, all your gas uh, heating for um, for your hot water here is a really great feature which is an outdoor power outlet that if the motorhome is connected up to mains power 230 that you'll be able to use if you wanted to power something outside Beautiful mags on this motorhome. It really is a great example of a of a luxury motorhome. You've got a uh, a nice big that's a four and a half meter outdoor awning, which uh, I will give you an instruction on in a following um, video. And of course, you'll see up the top there just the glimpse of the satellite dish. So it really is a nice example of a motorhome. Here is your main entry for your cabin. If you're pulling it and it's not doing anything, it is locked. So of course that that main key that does all of the outside hatches and also this door locks and unlocks it. You'll see that it's marked on the door itself. So all you need to do is simply just turn it to unlock and then you'll be able to open it up. Now, to gain entry to the actual cabin itself, you need to drop this step, which when you have a look on the right hand side, inside the motorhome itself, there's a range of, of, uh, of dials. These ones here operate lights. This is the one for the step. Hold it down to pop the step out. If you want to pop the step away, hold it on the top, and away you go. Nice and easy. And again, if you wanted to lock it, it should be just turn it to the left and she's all locked up last thing we'll come to is the diesel and the ad blue refiller tanks so open her up all you do pop that out and you'll see that you've got a diesel cap and below it the ad blue now if you haven't come across ad blue before it's a diesel emissions additive so that lowers the 
diesel emissions sent out the exhaust. Very, very important that there are two, two tanks and they're kept separate. So, to empty the de to uh, refill the diesel, I should say, you do need the key that starts the engine to take the cap off. That is, as it's well labeled, diesel only. Add blue, again, well labeled. Only the add blue goes in here when there's a low add blue warning light on the that comes on the dash. Pop between five and ten liters back there if that warning light comes on. It'll take at least at least probably ten liters if that warning uh, low add, uh, add blue warning light does come on. Really important that you do fill it up um, within a um, a 200k um, range from when that uh, warning light comes on, and of course your diesel. And here we are, back at the start of the, um, the passenger side, at the front of this beautiful example of a luxury motorhome. Enjoy your trip guys, Gaka Dett.